The first Atlanta Brave to score a World Series run. It was this lifelong Georgian back in 1991. His dedication to the game remains strong to this day. He's a humble, gracious gentleman. That simply is his way. This is Jeff Treadway. Jeff Treadway, ladies and gentlemen. Ernie, your dad was uh, at the microphone making the call for a lot of my videos. Um, he reminded me so much of my own dad, so it was comforting to see him each day at the ballpark. Thank you, Georgia Sports Hall of Fame. I'm humbled to be in this fantastic gr group of men and women, especially those who are in the hall from my hometown of Griffin. I am proud to have played my high school sports at Griffin High under the great coaches there. Thank you, Jamie Kaplan, who was so instrumental in getting me inducted. I believe when a person puts his faith in God, God will put people in your life who will inspire you. That has definitely been the case in my life, and that begins with my incredible family. My mom, Margaret, a nurse in Griffin for 45 years, never failed to be at our ball games. We've always been so proud of how she became known and loved as one of the great caregivers for people in need. My dad, Wesley, a longtime real estate man and a builder in Griffin, I remember him as the most generous person I've ever known. He was a tremendous influence on us as well as anyone he met. I come from a family of athletes. My brother Stan played two years in the Montreal Expos farm system. My brother Phil played second base for Columbus College. My brother Wes played quarterback at Western Carolina. These three brothers, great men, have influenced my life and career in immeasurable ways. All my nieces or nephews are here tonight, and I want you to know your Uncle Jeff is proud of you. My coaches had a great impact on me and are big reasons why I went into coaching myself. Robert Sapp won more than 1,000 games coaching baseball at Middle Georgia College, including four national titles. He introduced me to championship baseball for the first time as we won a national title in 1980. Coach Steve Weber, who I'm so happy recruited me to sign it with Georgia, is the winningest baseball coach in UGA history with 500 victories and a national championship in 1990, the first time an SEC team had done so. Vince Dooley, who called me one spring afternoon to assure me Georgia was putting a greater emphasis on baseball. I'm not sure Webb knows this, but I was still considering the University of Florida. But back in the early 80s, if Vince Dooley calls you and tells you to come to Georgia, you go to Georgia. I'm so glad I did. Bobby Cox, the greatest manager of all time. He always treated everyone on the roster like they were important, and I certainly learned from that. John Scherholtz, the most prof professional person I've ever met. John changed the Ragtag Braves into one of the most respected franchises in baseball, and there are so many disciplines he teaches that I try to incorporate in my life today. To my Stratford family here in Macon, what a fabulous place to have a second career. I started there 20 years ago thinking I was there to be a mentor and a teacher of baseball to young men. But as it turned out, I was there to learn to play and coach fast pitch softball from a bunch of young ladies. And they taught me, well, we won four state titles along with a state championship in baseball. Thank you to our incredible coaching staff from whom I've learned so much. Stratford also ended up being a great place to find a beautiful young wife. Molly, you're an incredible mom and a wife, and, and it amazes me how you balance it all with such ease and grace. I never knew an accountant to be so good looking. I know I always tell you I don't deserve you, and I don't, but I'm keeping you anyway, and I love you. Alexis and Grace, thanks for letting this old guy hang around with, hang around with you all the last 15 years. I love you both. To my son Ben and my daughter Alden, you all are rock solid. I love you, and I'm so proud of you. Obviously, I've been greatly blessed in this life, but the greatest blessing of all is I get to be your dad. So this average athlete somehow scratched out a nine-year major league career. Sometimes I wonder how it happened, but one thing I know for sure is it would not have happened without so many great people. Thanks be to God for all of them. So thank you, Georgia Sports Hall of Fame. Thank you for this great honor, this fun weekend, and this great night. I'll never forget. Thank you.